Hey, what's up guys, Mike Redfox. In this video, we're gonna test the new NB Miner 39.5 with its Ergo LHR Unlock. So in my test bench here, I have my EVGA RTX for the Win 3 3080 Ti. It's set on its own server power supply, isolated from the rest of the rig, which is then monitored at the wall so we can get a reading of what this card will do on Ergo with the wattage it will pull at the wall. So let's not waste any time here. I'm gonna switch over to the test bench and we're gonna take a look at what is going on with MB Miner and Ergo. So you can see again, it's 39.5. They got released, it's got a new LHR mode for mining Ergo. You can use it by utilizing the dash LHR option. And they have some recommendations here depending on the type of GPU you have. I'll leave a link to this in the description below, but you can check out what LHR values you should use based on your specific GPU. In this case, I have the 3080 Ti, which has GDR6X memory which means that we're gonna start with dash LHR 100 is the recommendation. Now what's gonna happen with Ergo with the Autolycus algorithm in this miner is that if the miner detects the lock, it will start decreasing the LHR value by 0.5 and then continue mining. And it'll find the lock, decrease by 0.5, continue mining, if it locks again, decrease 0.5 from there, continue mining. And that's how it will fight the limiter for mining on Ergo, which by the way, we 100% know from all the testing this community has done that any light hash rate card will is 100% impacted in its Ergo mining performance. That is a fact. So let's see, I've had it mining for a little bit here. Uh, you can see I'm getting 273 uh, mega hash per second and I'm getting around 200 watts reported in the miner. I'm getting a little bit more at the wall. At the wall, I'm pulling around 260. I'm not sure why the discrepancy. On Ethereum, it's pretty much exactly the same. I'm not sure if I'm running, the server power supply is pulling a little bit more, if there's something funky going on with the wattage reporting in the software versus at the wall. If you have a 3080 Ti and you are mining Ergo with NB Miner and you have the ability to measure it at the wall, please let me know in the comments section if you're seeing this. Maybe there's something weird going on with my specific setup in this video. I have no idea, but I figured I'd call that out just in case. Uh, the overclocks I'm using, we'll take a look. So I'm using Lock Core Clock in MSI Afterburner, which I'll show you in a second. So that's why my power limit is up to 100% because I have that core locked at 1695 megahertz, which is then reducing the power that this GPU is using. And I have the memory all the way up. Slider is maxed out plus 1500 megahertz on the memory here in Windows. I can't go any further, but it's really stable with the memory there. I went up 200 plus 200 increments and I the hash rate kept going up, so I kept pushing it and that's where I landed at. Um, so yeah, I have that core locked and you can see we're, we're doing really good. The limiter has not kicked in at all. So you could honestly just start this miner without that um, argument here, which I'll show you at the end, dash LHR 100. You could just start this miner without it and this is the hash rate results that you would get. So with NB miner, I'm gonna kick in the limiter. I'll show you in a second and then we'll see how it plays out. But I'm, I'm actually kind of struggling to see what the point is. I mean, I gotta be missing something here because I could just set this up in mine and avoid the limiter and be good. But I guess it's a nice fail safe just in case you stepped away and the limiter kicks in. If you're not fully dialed in, your GPU will keep mining. I, don't, I gotta be missing something here. But anyway, let's kick in this limiter. So what I'm gonna do, I'll show you how to lock core clocks in MSI Afterburner just in case you don't know as well. So you're gonna hit the keyboard command control F and that's gonna bring up this uh, curve editor. And you can see right here, this line, it might be hard to see, but that is the core currently locked at 1695. And I've been testing this and I know if I go down to 1650 and lock it there, to lock it is control L, you can see the bar moved. And then I need to save that by hitting a little check in MSI Afterburner and you'll see 
that moved down to 1650, and then I think this will force the LHR lock to kick in, or we might have to just go a little bit. Yep, there it is. All right, so LHR lock detected one, wait to unlock. So I just kicked in the limiter by reducing the core clock on this card. So let's see what happens here. So we're getting like 273 mega hash. So it just did what it's supposed to do. It reduced me 0.5 from the LHR value of 100 down to 99.5, just kicked in again. So this is now telling me this is the second time it's kicked in and it's brought me down. Uh, it's gonna bring me down a little bit more and you can see my hash rate drop in now down to 238 mega hash. And we'll just let this ride out for again, <laughs> down to 99. So that's two LHR locks detected, boom, a third one. And I'm sure this is just going to keep dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. But I wanted to kick it in so you guys can see what it does and what happens. But I'm still kind of struggling to see what the whole point is. I got to be missing something. Please let me know and this community know in the comments section if you've been testing this. Like, what, where, where are you landed at? You know, did you find value in this new argument? Um, I will say that versus T-Rex minor, just using NB minor for Ergo is way more stable, uh, way more stable in power usage. And the hash rates are just not all over the place. They're really steady hash rates, as you guys saw in the beginning of this video. But I just wanted to bring this all to you. I was testing it tonight. Figure I'd throw together a quick video on my experiences with it. I'm not an expert in any of this. I spent the last few hours tinkering with it, and this is where I've landed. But I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts, your testing, your results with NB minor 39.5, specifically testing Ergo. Let me know how you're doing. Let this community know how you're doing in the comments section down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more content on GPU mining. Join my Discord if you want to chat. Link is in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.